In this lecture, we are starting our project of building a scene with Reality Composer and using that scene inside of a new augmented reality app. Our first step will be to open Reality Composer and to create the objects for our scene. So join me in Xcode. Just open your Xcode application. Then you can open up Reality Composer, which is part of Xcode. So you go to the Xcode header, then select Open Developer Tool and select Reality Composer as the developer tool. This will open up a new application, the Reality Composer for you. Okay, here you can create a new app and you can choose the anchor. So you have several anchor options. You have horizontal for tabletop or horizontal apps, a vertical app for experiences anchored to a wall or a vertical surface. We have an image for experiences attached to images in your environment, like a poster or a book, face for augmenting faces using the true depth camera, an object to anchor your experience to a scanned object, and more options will be available over time. Okay, so here, let's say we're going to choose the first one, horizontal. Feel free to experiment with more anchors as well. We also want to use the template content for that anchor. You can press choose and then you will see this simple scene being created. Here by default, you will have a cube object in the scene. Then in the header here, you can see different options about the object. So you have scenes, frame, snap, modify, space, add, play, send to a device, behaviors and properties. So you can see properties of the currently selected object. We have the cube. It has plastic material, it has a white color, it has a width, height, depth, and radius, it has physics and accessibility options. So you can manipulate some of the properties of this object immediately right here inside of the editor. You can change its size and its color. You can also change the actual model itself. So you can right click and select replace on the object to replace it with a different object. And then here you'll get this menu of options of what you can replace the object with. So we can choose here different prisms, callouts, signs, charts, billiard balls, chess pieces, game objects, and you can even import your own models as well. And they'll be converted to the proper format for Xcode projects. Okay, so we can choose any object here. These are just some preloaded objects. Let's choose a sun. If you click on this sun, then you can choose this model by double clicking on it and that will load the sun. Some models take longer to load, so just be patient. So here we have a sun model loaded in and you can add in more models and you can move their position. You can also rotate them, okay? And you can change different properties of them like their physics and their material. If you want to learn more iOS development, then pledge to our Kickstarter, the Complete 22 Web Development and Machine Learning Bundle, which also has a lot of app development content. And it is live now, link in description.